here. We are just a tick over 80,000 miles. And we're going to do the 80,000 mile service, the four year service. And um, we'll go through that. We've got the belly pan down, and we're just about ready to drain the oil. And looking under the car, looks good. No leaks. So that's nice. Time to drain the oil. Oil fill cap cracked. And then we can go down and loosen the, the drain pan bolt. Okay, we've got a 17 millimeter plug. And uh, just need to crack that loose. And see if we can hit the hit the pan without making a mess. All right, and we'll let that drain. Okay, while well, we're waiting for the oil to drain, we can do another part of the 80K service, which is replacement of the air filter. That's just a couple of screws right here, right in front. This is the 2.5 liter, five cylinder, light pressure turbo. And the Volvo part for that is 307, Five seven one five five, and paper filter with a foam pre-filter. Pull out the drawer. Pull out the old one. Same thing. Pretty, looks pretty good. Nothing terrible. Take a look in the box. Make sure everything. Make sure there's no debris. We've got actually a leaf in here. Surprising. But everything else looks good. No need to vacuum anything out. So I'll just uh, pop that filter right back in, the new one. Make sure it's seated well. Push it in. All the way around. Make sure it's flat. Like that, and uh, looks good. So we'll just push it back in. A little snug. Maybe I need to push this in a little bit more. Push the filter in a little bit more. go. Line those screws up. Screw the screws back in and then we're all done with that. Done. All right, just got to wait a little bit more. I can still hear the oil draining. And then we'll button it back up. All right, well the oil is drained and we've got this wiped off and we're going to put on a new crush washer. The part for that is 7751. Get that on there. And then we can clean the spot of the pan off and put the plug in. And as you can see, Stop dripping, so just wipe that off. Get the surface, get the surface dry. 
and put the plug in. I like to put the plug in just a few threads to stop it and then re-wipe that mating surface with a paper towel just to get all that residual oil off and then it can be snugged up. And I'll scoot the Scoot the pan over, get it out of the way. So we can get a wrench on here and snug it up. There you go, and that should be it. All right, next step is to get the oil filter out. Now they do make um, special sockets for this, but um, I just use a standard 36 millimeter socket. And you can get at it with some extensions and a universal joint. And it doesn't have to be that tight. Just back it off. Wipe the dust off with a paper towel. There shouldn't be too much here. Let's pull that out. Yeah, I mean, we've been drying the oil for a good half hour, 45 minutes, so no drips there. Okay, so you can uh, pull this filter off. Set it on a piece of plastic, let it drain. And then just wipe the housing off. The new filter is a 869-2305 and it should come with the filter and come with a new o-ring which it does so that's good you can just take a small screwdriver or a um, or a hook pull that old o-ring off Wipe down the surface. Okay, and then the new filter, doesn't matter which way it goes, it's the same on both ends.
Okay, and you should push it down and feel it click, then you're all set to go. Just a quick look and wipe down in the housing with a clean paper towel. Got it all wiped out clean. Looks good. Then we can get that new filter down in there. Thread it down in there by hand. Oh shoot, you know what? I forgot. It's a real good idea to lubricate that o-ring with some oil so it doesn't dry out. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull it back out and do that. Alright, so let's try that again. Got a thin layer of oil on the o-ring. Pop it down in there and thread it in by hand. And then... Get our socket down in there. Snug that up, no need to over tighten, and you're all set. Now all we gotta do is add the oil. All right, so the only thing left to do is 5.8 quarts of 5W30, and this time we chose Mobile One, A5B5, just like it specs, and so I'm gonna add those in, and then we'll be all set. Check for leaks. Button up the uh, the bottom pan.